In the studio with us this morning is someone we're very fond of, a singer that should have won The Voice this season. Just a complete hose job. I don't, I don't even understand what happened. We're still mad. I thought Tom was going to walk out on this show and protest Yeah, I was day. ready to quit. I was done. <laughs> This week, you can see her in an amazing new documentary called 20 Feet from Stardom, which showcases a lot of these wonderful backup singers of yep. all time. We're stepping out to the front. Please welcome Judith Hill yeah. to the program. Thank you. So welcome, happy to Judith. be here. For the people who don't watch The Voice, people who don't know who you are or what you do, you started out as a wonderful, wonderful singer. And, and in order to get work, you started to work as a background singer. That's right. My first gig out of college was uh, singing with a French pop star named Michelle Polnareff, and I was his background singer. What's so. her last name? Polnareff. Yeah, Polnareff. That's, That's what I figured. I just want to make sure I got the right guy. Very yeah, exactly. familiar with French artists. <laughs> That's the first part As you can hear gig. from my accent, I'm part French. Exactly. I hear it. Yeah. That's the first part. You got to learn how to say the name. Yeah, I got it. <laughs> and from there, who'd you go with? Um, well, shortly after, I, I was in L.A. for a few months, and then I got the Michael Jackson gig. Yeah, that's where I fell in love with you. Not in a stalkerish way, just your voice. You know? <laughs> Thank you. Because watching that, it was just amazing. And, and what you went through on the show. How many people tried out for that? Do you have any idea? I really don't. But when it came down to when I tried out, there was only a handful of people. It was more like a recommendation type of situation. Okay. Did he pick you himself? He was a part of it, yeah. yeah. I remember them calling me being like, change your MySpace picture. Michael's on there right now. You know? So he wow. was definitely oh part of the process. God. That's amazing. <laughs> what, what was it like working for Michael Jackson? It was magical. I mean, he's the absolute, my inspiration. And every, just being in the same room with him, watching how he worked the band, everything. I learned so much from him. And, um, man, I just miss him. He, yeah. he really and truly was hands-on when it came to the music. Definitely. Um, there would be times where the background singers would be in a corner working on our parts, and he'd be with the band, and he, we would hit something. He'd be like, I heard that. So his, his <laughs> ears and all. eyes were everywhere at the same time. Yep. I had to be, that had to be so magical for you. And then Michael's fans probably remember your performance at the memorial service mm -hmm. at the Staples Singer when you did Heal the World. That was... Uh, I was completely honored to do that. I couldn't believe they asked me to do that. What a hard day. I it mean, was a hard day. Shoof. Really hard day. And you nailed the song also. I mean, you, that had to be difficult to just, you know... It was very difficult. I was crying the whole service, and then we yeah. had to get up there and sing with the kids. But, man, it's a once-in-a-lifetime experience. Yep. And then came the voice. <laughs> That's right. Don't now, you want to go back there and slap them? <laughs> what the hell's the matter with you people? I, I just don't understand. From the from the second I heard that number one, you were going to be on the show because I knew you from the movie, and I was like, Psh. winner. This, so walk this is over. Right. I didn't even have to hear the other people, and then to get voted up, were you shocked? Well, you know, with that, those shows, anything can happen, That's and true. I learned early on going into the show, like, wow, this is different from anything I've ever experienced, mm -hmm. and so there's so many factors that go into it, and so I was, you know, I was happy to make it that far. I, I had a great time. Todd, she's too nice Judith, to say. don't tell me you were happy she's to make it that far. You were nice. the winner of that damn show. <laughs> she's not going to fall into your trap. She should have won nice. that damn show. It was, I told you he's not over it. I'm not over it. Oh, no. thank you. You guys are sweet. I mean, it was a tough competition. It Wait really... a minute. Judith Hill, the Swan brother. <laughs> Come on. It was not a tough competition. What are we doing here? They're the ones in the airport in Milwaukee, That's ridiculous. Right? Now, when you first were on there, all four judges spun their chairs around for you. But you picked Adam Levine. I did pick Adam. Um, I was happy to pick him. He's turned out to be a really great coach, and we bonded. Um, it, it, was, it was cool to have Adam as a coach. And at what point during the show do you know you're like, all right, I've gotten far enough where I can really use this to springboard to something else? Because that's what that show yeah, should be exactly. about that's for exactly singers. What, and that's what it was for me. Win or lose. I mean, exactly. that's what it's about. That's what it was. Although the... you should have won the damn thing. <laughs> now, tell us a little bit about 20 Feet from Stardom. That's a, a brand-new uh, documentary that uh, you're featured in. Give us a little uh, thumbnail sketch of the show. Well, this is an incredible film. I mean, I'm just so honored to be part of it because these women and their stories, it's just heartbreaking and also just inspiring at the same time. I mean, these are women that have come out of such crazy experiences in the mm -hmm. background singing world and have overcome. I mean, Darlene Love, Mary Clayton, Lisa Fisher. I mean, all of these, they're so different. The stories are different. Right. And I think I, I come in at the end sort of as 
the new background singer that's making her way into being an artist and, and what that looks like in today's world. And so it's just really, really inspiring. I think everyone can watch it and go away with something and, and feel like inspired. You know, Todd, I remember when one of the stories that's showcased in that movie actually happened in Los Angeles, Darlene Love, one of the all-time great singers, back up or, or front stage, was working as a maid in yeah. houses around yep. Beverly Hills and everything. I was everything. blown away by that. Yeah. I didn't know that. And somebody found out about it, and they did a piece on her in the, in the uh, L.A. Times. Right. And then all of a sudden she came back and, and restarted her career. Now, someone like you, were you bummed watching the movie because you saw what a lot of these women went through? I mean, like the Mary Claytons who, you know, they're unemployed and can't get gigs. I mean, were you thinking, oh, my God, is that my future or something like that? Or no, you don't even try to think like that. Um, Not really. I think that, like, at the end, because I think the message of the, the movie is even when you fall, you get back up right. and you never give up. And I think that that's what makes it so special mm -hmm. about all these women in spite of the fact that, yeah, there's times where you will be unemployed or it's feast or famine in this business. And I think that it's important to just keep doing that and following your dreams. For the record, we should tell people the Swan brothers are not in this move. <laughs> <laughs> we, are talking to, Swan, we are talking to Judith Hill from the TV show The Voice and the brand new movie 20 Feet from Stardom. She is a wonderful vocalist, and if you've never seen her, prepare to be entertained. Mr.